Will they or won't they? That's what we're here to find out. AJ and Hash were both, get this, struck by lightning. Will lightning manage to strike again? I was at my friend's house and we were sitting at the edge of her pool and there was a thunderstorm forming off in the distance. And we were looking at it being like, it looks still kind of far away. We were debating jumping in the pool. <laughs> it went on for a few more minutes and then a lightning strike probably hit the fence behind us. And we were kind of in the splash zone. Oh my God. So there was like a flash and it felt like a little like electric jolt to the bottom. Body, and then kind of felt jittery for the rest of the day. That's one of the, part of the pun, more positive uh, lightning stories I've heard. At least you weren't All in right. the water. Shinhash, I turn to you. I was walking to my cousin's house. It was raining and I see a flash of white, just completely blinded. And then I just I walked to my cousin's house as if nothing happened. And then on the way back, the same thing happened, a flash of white light. <laughs> And the third time, now we gotta hear the third time. The third time I was walking to like the gas station to get hook or ice cream. I heard a flash, I hear, I see a flash of light and it's five feet from me as I'm walking down the sidewalk. I ran straight to my dormitory. And that was the same day that I got this. A Campbell's Soup Trading Card Pack. <laughs> You're just answering questions with more questions. Like, what the uh, f*** is a Campbell's Soup Trading Card? It is exactly a Campbell's Soup Trading Card Pack. They okay. actually made trading cards. I don't- I have not come across a lot of people who have near lightning experiences of three times. Holy shit. I mean, both of you. Yeah. So, uh, clearly, lightning could possibly strike again. No offense. I've seen a fair share of Bachelorette and other trash television reality shows. I don't think there's a single one where like two or more contestants have been struck by lightning. So I'm going to say this is a, a Guinness first. It's time to give you guys a question that I don't know what uh, the question even is. So McDonald's, Chick-fil-A or Arby's? Oh. Great first date question. Third place, bottom tier, Arby's. Uh, Arby's, that shit's disgusting. Um, this episode of Will They Won't They is sponsored by Arby's. Second place, I'm gonna have to give it to Chick-fil-A. Love their food. But unfortunately, as you know, many people know, they do have some donations that are less than admirable. So they definitely dock some points there. However, they do have very good unsweet tea. And then by default, that would be first place uh, McDonald's. All hail like, our corporate overlords. Rank them. Rank the three uh, right now. Arby's third place looks like a meat curtains. I don't like that. Wait, uh, <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick <-fil -A. laughs> <laughs> hey, you said it. Mickey D's number one. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You lost me at meat curtains. All right, well there you go. What are my your rankings? rankings huh? Yeah, my rankings are um, they're all zeros. I uh, hunt and kill and cook my own food. Hey, Twitch chat, you've heard their answers. Now it's up to you. Should Hash and AJ date? Hash and AJ. You two have a compatibility rating of 82%. I'm gonna let you guys in on the secret. Don't tell Twitch I said this, but like, man, fuck uh, the Twitch chat. It ain't about them. It's about you two. Would you date each other? In the pairing of AJ and Tash, you two are a match congratulations uh and you guys get to talk all about your campbell's soup trading cards from the 90s you get to talk about like cool ways to evade lightning since it you know is very attracted to the both of you um and you guys can hang out at swimming pools on a uh, on an overcast day Alyssa and jane both stream on twitch and they both like art can they draw up a match together find out on will they won't they you stream on Twitch. What do you stream? For the most part, I've streamed Minecraft, but I've done a bunch of other stuff like unpacking or like The Sims, a bunch of just things for fun. So honestly, this is gonna sound like I'm totally copying you, but Minecraft and Sims are like two of my favorite games as well. Seems you have a you know a couple of interests in common there, uh, Sims and Minecraft amongst other things. And real quick, before I get into the question, you both like art. What kind of art do you heart? I mostly do a lot of like hand-drawn 2D stuff. But I'm really into digital art, painting, colored pencils. You know, I'm, I'm trying to like branch out a little bit, but I think digital art is my main thing. Would you still love me if I was Fridge? Yes, yes, 100%. Whether you're a fridge, microwave, whether you're an 
oven, a kitchen sink. I do not care. I will still love you. Yes, like the vibes you give off already immaculate. Um, I feel like as a fridge, it would almost enhance you to to another level. I feel like you'd want to you'd be one of those like really expensive like Japanese fridges that can do like everything. That's those like smart fridges. Yes, exactly. The ones you can tweet from, you know, like Twitter for <laughs> yes. Samsung fridge. These are both very wholesome answers. What you guys just said, but it's not up to me. Give this lovely couple a compatibility rating. I just love like the way that this is structured. Would you still love me if I was fridge? You just yeah. morph into a fridge. Right. This is a this is a new world record. This is a really one thing first. Your compatibility factor just came in. It's 96%. Oh my god. Oh, I'm my not god. shitting. We are making history. You are making history. No, no one's touched 90 plus. Obviously, Twitch is rooting for you too. You're not married to that number. It's all about the will they won't they. <laughs> will you or won't you? Would you date each other? Alyssa, Jane, you two are not not a match. That means you're a match. You're a match. You both said oh yes. <laughs> you, you both so good. Oh, you dare do that again. Get the so good. <laughs> and I have really good news for you both. This is a really won't they first. You get a prize. And that prize is I'm going to give both of you a free download of Be Funny Now. You've earned it. All right. And you two can download Be Funny Now. So go ahead and have fun. Yet another happy ending here on Will They Won't They. Jackal, the other day I asked you if you'd still love me if I was a worm and you said no. But what's our ratio so far? I think no most yeses people be horny let's go <laughs> oh, hey gross <laughs> not in my fucking wholesome will they won't they show all right sid has a lot of hats and josie has a sword on guard will they won't they find out oh my gosh josie yeah. does have a sword you need more hats honestly i'm hosting the show here all right will you two just both relax and let me crack open a new white claw all right you got hats you got swords who cares i have a new question for you do you check for monsters under your bed every night like i do you know that's very important to do you know i've got this this knife here <laughs> <laughs> of course you have a knife. Oh my God. Um, I, I actually found this knife under my bed when I moved into this apartment. I don't know where it's from. It's really great for checking under the bed for monsters, though. Josie, I turn the question over to you. You know, that's what the sword's for here. Even though it's not sharp, you can hit someone over the head with it. Check the closets, and then you can't really get under the bed too well, so I just kind of spray some pepper spray down there. See if they come out, then hit them with the sword. So you have a strategy. I like that. Twitch chat, you got a new poll right now. Should Sid and Josie date? They gave you two a compatibility rating of 7 74 percent that's not the yeah. highest we've seen by uh, any regards but it's also certainly not the lowest that's not bad but as you know if you've been watching the show tonight if you've been watching will they won't they thus far you already know it's not up to them it's up to you would you date the other i will give you just a few moments think about your life choices that got you here tonight that's it that's all the time you have now we need an answer sid josie you're a match. You both said yes. The high five. Which way's the high oh, five? Don't Ooh. mind me. You got it. There oh, we go. Perfect. That was so. We did it. Internet. So good. Yeah. Congrats, it, you two. And uh, yeah, you both win a copy of Be Funny Now. Fuck it. I'm feeling Free generous game? tonight. We've been on a, a real nice lucky streak of a whole bunch of yeses. I feel like love is in the air. Our next couple is ready and willing. Here we go. Please give it up. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Max and Glitch are both agents of chaos. Chaos. Will they crash and burn or create something beautiful? Find out on Will They Won't They. Are you okay? Are They're you quite choking. all right? I mean, yeah, I'm just feeling the pressure, man. I love this person already. I'm heating up. Very strong start here. Oh, what is that? Holy is that a mister? A mister for the mister? <laughs> love that. We, we have so much to discuss. This is like a lost episode. This is like the lost series. More questions than answers. Max, I'm going to turn to you first. Max in the banana shirt. I mean, your fun fact, or apparently your fun fact is you're an agent of chaos. What does um, that entail? Like, Give me an example. If I'm like playing Minecraft, I'd be like a troll. <laughs> 
and like Max, do you do a bit of trolling? Is that what you're trying to say? Let me turn over to Glitch. How are you an agent of chaos? What does that mean to you? I am an agent of chaos in the sense that I keep lying to get on Yai. I have lied successfully three times now to your face. What does that mean? How so? Christmas episode, three years back, someone got a calendar in which it was all semi-naked lady pics and my caption was, they don't know I'm gay. <laughs> That was me. That wasn't even my calendar. You fucking lied. You broke the sanctity of Yai. I mean, I, I, I ain't even mad. That's a good solid bit. All right, that's fair. Good for you. You're both agents of chaos. Chaos. But I got a real question for the both of you. From Lord Fudd. Which, ST <laughs> which STDs are you missing? I think I can help you out. That's a good question. I'm actually a bug chaser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing hep C, you got it? I was just contracted with HIV. Never fucking do heroin with my friend Gavin, dude. He's an asshole, dude. That's a hell of an icebreaker. I went crabbing the other day, so I got um, that covered. You <laughs> both have lived up to your Agents of Chaos titles. You want some? Oh my God. No, you can't just open a deer park, take a sip and put it back. That's illegal. Yeah. Our glitch is getting so oh, glitch is getting a fucking Shrek poster. What is happening? What the shit is, okay. That's weird. All right, um. <laughs> Wait, did, did you do the poll? No, I'm about, I'm trying to segue oh. to the poll. I am drastically, feverishly trying to segue to said poll. It's tradition. I'm gonna ask, should they date? Yes, no, please let us know. Yeah, there you go. Open up the the, the furry mouth. There you go. Really just, yeah. That works. Chug a lug. To no one's surprise, <laughs> You have an 80% compatibility factor. I'm gonna ask you both this one question. Would you date each other? Yes or no. Uh, can I ask one more question to Max before? Yep. Max, you drink a lot of water. I like that. Do you by chance have a piss gig? What the fuck? <laughs> Weird, dude. That's actually That's the most the point, normal man. thing I've heard so far in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but have you gone to a gentle minion screening yet? No, I'm actually uh, jealous of people that do. Like, I, I want to do that so badly. I did that for Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Limited edition collectors. No! It's Morbius it's G Fuel. G and oh, my God. It's Morbius G Fuel. Oh. Collector's edition, baby. Oh, PSA grade 10. Oh, my God. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Hey, real quick. I just have a, a, a quick update. You both said yes. Obviously, you both said yes. Like, what? I'm surprised you said yes. I thought the pissing would have been a total no. Let's go! Mom! Congratulations, you two agents of chaos. Chaos control. Oh my god, Glitch, is, Glitch almost choked himself. <laughs> Love makes you do crazy things. You fellas. Have fun. I hear wedding bells. I hear wedding bells. There you go. There you go. Max is getting it. Well, that was uh, that was the interaction to top. What the shit was that? That was amazing. Yeah, you can't put that on the fucking Bachelor. That was uh, something truly holy and unholy. Kelsung and Frankie both like anime. Kelsung once spent a lot of money on a Lego Disney castle. Can they make a fairy tale ending? Or will this be a top 10 saddest anime betrayal? Find out on Will They Won't They. That's the intro we have for you two. I'm so sorry we couldn't do any better. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. So you once spent a lot of money on a Lego Disney castle. I got a bunch of money from graduating high school and I thought that the best purchase to use all of that money on a single purchase of the Disney castle, which was around $350. Hey, money enjoyed is never money wasted. Uh, Frankie, you like anime, prove it. Name boy, three anime. Boy, do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three animes. Is it too cliche to say Corey in the house? Uh, judges? Yes, it was too cliche. My Hero Academia. There you go. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. That's one of them. That sure is one of them. I'm gonna need a third, though. You're really putting me on the spot here, man. Uh, I don't care. It's my show. I can do that. All right. No, that's fine. There you go. That's true. No. I hope the next question is all about anime. <laughs> so... Are you okay with role play? Discuss. My brother in Christ, what kind? Oh, no, no. No, I, I will not specify. That's your job. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What's some cool ass role play? Like what's some cool mm -hmm. role play that you're like, hell yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. 
Yeah, Kelsung, how about you? What's your coolest top 10 roleplay moments? Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, one through nine is D&D. &D. Number 10 is whatever's out there yet. I haven't tried them all yet. So <laughs> you're adventurous. You're willing. All right, then Then to Frankie, I'll, I'll follow up. Are you adventurous as well? Are you open to new uncharted territories in terms of roleplay? Absolutely, I am. That's all I ask. What a perfect answer to a really fucking awful question. You both delivered beautifully. <laughs> Kelsung, can you walk us through some of, the, some of the shit behind you in your room? Is that the... $350 uh, Lego Disney That's castle. $350 Disney castle right there. Yep. Hero. I see some Minecraft shit, some uh, Charizard shit. Yeah, okay. Funko Pop? Wow. <laughs> Should they, day. I have to physically type this out every time, hence the delay. I'm sorry. Don't you have months for this? Shut up. What the fuck? You can't imagine. Wait, you don't even need hands, you little baby man hands to type out your own goals. This is. I thought you were a professional. This is fucking disrespectful. I will. I will walk. I will leave. I will take this show and make it a fucking Vimeo exclusive. If you fucks keep it up. You two have a compatibility rating of seventy-one percent. Hi there. Hello, it's me. What the fuck, Marshall? What are you doing? Marshall is one of the council members and one of my yeah. editors, and apparently in frame with Frankie. I'm oh, my... yeah. yeah, we're friends. Absolutely. Yo, is that Scott the Waz? Oh, oh my god, god, it is Scott the Waz. Marshall, what are you doing invading my dating show? What the shit? Marshall jump scare. <laughs> Ew. Marshall was a friend of a friend of mine from high school. What? It's a small world out there. Holy shit. Marshall, Marshall, is this where you jump into Kelsung's frame? And you're like, I'm Kelsung's friend too. I was Kelsung the whole time. <laughs> Back to work, Marshall. Those videos won't edit themselves. <laughs> what a lovely little jump scare that was. That was horrifying. Back to my goddamn show, will they, won't they? In the case of Kelsung and Frankie, you two are the father. And you're also a match. Congratulations to the both of you. You guys get to construct $350 Lego Disney castles all fucking day. Um, I have no idea how exciting that is. I, I'll bet. Love that. They can collect Funko Pops together forever. There you Funko go. What a, uh, what a, uh, what a, uh, what a streak. I can't remember the last no we've had. I just want to let all of our contestants know it is okay to say no. Go with your heart. Feel, feel with this. Okay. Feel with all of this. Just grab your boob and feel with that. Because that's what's going to guide you through life and tonight. On the very first ever second VOD cut of Will They Won't They.